you know? And it's like, that is a lot less depressing than if it's horse turds and you don't own a horse. That's the price of owning a horse. If you own a horse, it's like, you're going to smell that. Yeah, no, that's for real. But if you just work at the fair, that's the smell of your life, and you couldn't afford to feed a horse. <laughs> I've noticed that the like the the ones that have games, they don't talk as much shit as they used to, and it's disappointing as heck. Oh, did they used to do that? Oh, they were they would fucking call you a bitch. Yeah, call you a bitch in front of your mama. Yeah. Now uh, I, I I try to encourage it, and mm -hmm. they're like, uh, "You're it. brave." Or hi, welcome to uh, welcome to the ring toss. My name is Ricky, and my pronouns are he, him. Yeah, you know dude, that's what it's like now. Yeah, <laughs> that's what it's that's what it yeah. felt like. Oh, dude. Now they're like, now I want to introduce you to Betsy. She's a bearded woman. Now I'd like to let you know she is not trans. She identifies as a bearded woman. It's a weird thing, man, because the fair, like, there's certain things I haven't been in, I don't know, decades, but there's things that definitely, you know, that, that the, like, freak show thing, that always have, like, the wild man. This man was found on a safari. It's just some black guy that's, like, in a cage, and he's shaking it, and he act, has to act like he's some animal. You know what I'm talking about? Like, it was all, like so offensive it'd be like the world's fattest man is just some very fat guy super fat guy but you're like there's fatter guys than this on wrestling you know what i mean and he's just got to stay there with pajama pants with no shirt on with his titties and just eat all night the while people come by and like turkey leg yeah just and like this guy has an office job you know what i mean like <laughs> they don't carry him around from town to town they just recruit him. the first <laughs> fat guy that they see they're like hey you want to make some money this weekend from town to town they're like you're gonna be the world's fattest man he's like am i really that fat and they're like yep you're the world's fattest man if you want this money you are <laughs> now take your shirt off hey everybody uh everybody out there first of all if y'all didn't know Tim, my neighbor, Tim, is the big bearded fat man, mm -hmm. which is wild. I never thought I actually know the big bearded fat man, <laughs> right? Uh, and second off, my other friend, Adam, is the bearded woman. <laughs> <laughs> what if you were that guy that people are like, hey, so as you know, the bearded woman died last week. And we got to replace her because every time we go to, they demand a bearded woman. And we all agree it should be you, Adam. <laughs> and he's like, what? And he's like, we're like, yeah, you look like a woman with a beard. And we all think that. He's like, oh, it's okay. been like it's been like this forever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We've all said we actually when we first hired you. There was a mix-up. We thought you were applying for the bearded... We thought you were a woman with a beard. Because <laughs> you look like a bearded woman. I was applying for the ribbon ceremony. Are you not a woman, Adam? <laughs> Are you not a bearded woman? I don't even have a beard. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but it's an attitude. You know, <laughs> you seem like a... Very butch... Hey, man. You uh, carry yourself like a woman. Let me finish. No, let me finish. Don't get upset. Don't let me finish. You carry yourself like a woman that has a beard. I've never been more offended in my life. <laughs> it's really a compliment. Uh, it's a good thing. I just, I just don't. I, I, I'm not one to go out and just let. I don't want people to just go look at me. I mean. You, but you, you really believe it? Yeah. You, you, you believe in me? Yeah. You owe the guy that runs a Gravitron a lot of money. Oh, and dude. I do. Man, he's good at dice. Yeah. <laughs> no, good at selling meth when you guys are playing dice. <laughs> first hit's free, but it's just the first one. So yeah. you actually owe him a, a, a lifetime's amount of fair money. So you, you, can't, you can't leave. True, and you know what I, you know, and whenever I asked you if you wanted to be the bearded woman, it was, I was, 
telling you. Oh, let's be fair. I ain't, I really ain't got anywhere to go. I have a gun. Okay. Okay. Uh, I, where do I need to go? What do I need to wear? Um, that. What you have on? It looks like something that a bearded woman would wear. Just everything you do. Everything, you know. Take your shirt off. Is this, is this really what all of y'all thought? Push, push them together. Now, just all lay there you. for a moment. All of y'all. Every single one of All eight of y'all. All agreed. Did I look like a bearded woman? Yes. And now we are going to take turns having sex with your boobs. <laughs> or I'm going to shoot you. I've got nowhere to be, man. Uh, you got somewhere to be. Oh. And it's here <laughs> on the floor. I say floor. It's dirt. Here on the dirt. Keeping your mouth shut. And we're going to have sex with your boobs. On the Gravitron? In the, gra- in the Gravitron? In the gravel. And Tron is actually going to go first. 